Good morning. morning. And welcome to the Dover Church, an open and affirming congregation where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, we welcome you here, here to connect, connect with God, connect with each other, and connect with our world through service of love. Particularly, I'd like to welcome anyone who's a guest or visitor with us this morning and hope that you have a bulletin because there are a lot of details. We're singing lessons and carols this morning, which is going to invite you to sing along on many songs. Um, Also, you'll see in the bulletin many announcements. Um, Not actually many announcements. Actually, there's just a few. Uh, First, uh, Christmas Eve is next Saturday night at 4 o'clock, a family service, 8 o'clock, a uh, more contemplative service, and 11 o'clock, a communion service. And if you haven't looked at your calendars yet, um, both Christmas and New Year's are Sunday mornings. So I'll be here, um, and I hope that you can join me for those two great celebrations. And uh, my final announcement it is you will have seen these at some point if you're a member or a friend of the church. These are our stewardship cards, and that means that this is the season when we are raising our, our participation in the life of the church to pay for the things that we hope to do together as the church in 2017. So if you haven't pledged yet, um, please think about getting one of these cards and getting it in to Nancy Sims soon so that our trustees can set up the budget for the coming year. Are there any announcements to come from the congregation this morning? Yes, Sarah. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I just wanted to announce that the third through seventh graders will be meeting in the kitchen um, when the kids go to Sunday school. So third through seventh graders in the kitchen, they'll be making some sugar cookies. Ah, coffee hour. Are there other announcements to come before the congregation this morning? No? If you could hand that over, please. Once in royal David 
I'd like to invite George and Lynn and their children forward to lead us in our Advent wreath lighting. And here is a microphone. And best of luck. Is a season of waiting. Waiting for God to break into our lives through the story of the birth of Jesus and through acts of hope, peace, joy, and love. Advent is a season of lighting candles. Lighting candles for the hope, peace, joy, and love for which we wait. Today, we light the first candle, the candle of hope, the second candle, the candle of peace, the third candle, the candle of joy, and the fourth candle, the candle of love. We wait, we wait not because we do not know the story of Jesus and not because we do not know that Jesus is already and always here. We wait because to wait is to expect something more. To wait is to expect that the Christmas story might enter our hearts and our world in new ways and bring the change for which we long. As we light a candle of love, we remember the stories of God's faithfulness and steadfast love, which surrounds us and will not be contained. We trust that God is with us always, as love that bursts forth from all God's people. Love is born again and again in all creation. As we wait, may we feel God's love permeating our community. May we be active vessels of God's love as we remember the reason for the season. Amen. Let us sing together number 121, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Today's fitting prayer. Beloved
beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas season our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tales of the loving purposes of God, from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child, and let us make this chapel glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and brotherhood within the church. And because this, of all things, would rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children. All who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom, in this Lord Jesus, we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven, in the words which Christ himself hath taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. God tells Adam that he has lost the life of paradise. Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 through 15. And, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thou voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was, wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that Thou shouldest not eat. And the man said, The woman womb thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the trees, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said to the serpent, Beguiled me, and, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and in dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I would oh. put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and shall bruise his heel. Thanks be to God.
God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply the seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. The prophet foretells the coming of the Savior. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2, 6, and 7. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God.
peace that Christ shall bring is foreshown. Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 3a, 4a, and 6 to 9. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him quick understanding in fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither approve after hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth, and he shall smite the earth. With the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the falling together, and the little child shall lead them. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice stem. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God.
angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. <clears throat> and in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I not know a man? And the angel ans answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing, which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God, Nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
this lesson, St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. I'll be reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. And it came to pass in those days, and there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with, his, with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
the shepherds go to the manger. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 16. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go, even unto Bethlehem now, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God.
The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Jesus should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> 